Hello, us. Hi, us. Okay, I think we can make an effort to get started here. Uh, I don't have a lot of new news, um, but we'll we'll kind of run through it. So uh, the viewer rundown. Um, release candidate for asset HTTP is out. Um, I haven't actually looked at the new crash data on that. Let me bring that up. Uh, that's significantly better than it was. Yeah. Still, let's see. Still not a big enough sample size, but I think the new update has made a, a big improvement. Um, and that's so that's out there. Uh, we have an update to the voice viewer. The problem with that has been fixed, and that will be out uh, if we any minute now. I, it, literally, it might appear while we're sitting here, uh, reappear while we're sitting here, I, or we might have to wait until after the no change window is is closed. Uh, so it would appear later this evening. Um, that's, that's out there. Uh, we have, uh, an update to the 64 bit viewer that I believe we will probably see on Monday. Um, it's going into QA over the weekend. Uh, it has a whole bunch of fixes. It does have the havoc fixes. It does have, uh, more fixes for the web stuff, um, and the only remaining uh, major changes to that that are left are the new uh, viewer manager process and the new updater that are that are all part of the same thing. Um, uh, and that is being integrated even as we speak, so we'll very likely have, uh, very possibly have two updates for that viewer next week. And uh, we could be very close to having our first release candidate for that pretty soon. Um, yeah, uh, that's, that's gonna be pretty good. Um, we did actually have uh, a bit of a, of a mistake when we did the most recent update to that. Um, and some people who should have been updated to the next version of the 64-bit viewer were updated to the next version, but they were updated to the 32-bit build. So there are people out there who thought they were running the new 64-bit viewer, but they're actually running the 32-bit build of the 64-bit viewer. So uh, we have to continue to do, yeah, it was a little bit of a boo-boo on our part. Um, we We didn't notice it for... Um, several days, the crash rate went way up, and we were really confused about um, why that was. And uh, then we figured out that actually uh, something like two-thirds of the people who who uh, were running it, even on 64-bit OSs, were, were running the 32-bit build. Um, uh, you can tell which it is by looking in the um, uh, in the about second life. 
um, it now under the version number it it tells you which build it is. Um, uh, well, it, yeah, there's no there's no easy way to automatically get it right, um, but we're gonna we're gonna reconfigure things so that so that most people will get the 64-bit fewer on the next update. Um, and I don't want to tell. I don't. I didn't want to like put out a big announcement. We just figured this out a day or two ago, and since we've got the this next update coming uh, anyway, which is significantly better in a bunch of ways, uh, I didn't want to like make a big deal out of it and tell people to update when we're about to update them anyway. So um, one of the things that's improved in the new in the new updater code, the update manager code that uh, will be in the next version after this this update, um, is um, that it will make an attempt to figure out which version you want to be running, uh, and if you're not running the best one for you, if you if you're capable of using the 64-bit viewer and you're running the 32-bit, it will automatically get that update for switch you for it so um, that will be that will be a good thing um, and would have prevented this problem but that code wasn't quite ready yet um, and but now it is we're integrating it so it will not be in the next update but it'll it should be in the one after that so uh, that's all that's all coming um, we've got uh, another maintenance viewer that I think is still in QA. Probably see that early next week. Um, and uh, we are starting work again on the 360 snapshot viewer. So I don't know how long it'll be before we've got an update to it, but it is no longer sitting on the back burner with no one paying any attention to it. So um, that's that's coming along soon, um, and hopefully we'll we'll get that um, fixed up and integrated into the mainstream. So I think that's all the viewer development news. Uh, let's see. Um, the the region and parcel access changes, the premium priority access went to the main channel this week. So that's everywhere. Oh, good. Uh, good to know that at least some people got the right thing. Um, so that's out there. And uh, uh, it, the 64-bit viewer is so large because all the addresses in it are twice as big. So it got roughly twice as big. Also, we added a whole bunch of new uh, web code to it. Um, so that's that's all coming. Um, which parcel update do you mean, Annie? I did mention that there's a mate viewer coming. I didn't say anything very specific about it, Grumpity. If you want to add to that, by all means do it. Oh, yes. Well, so actually, that's probably what Grumpity wants to talk about. So why don't you take that question, Grumpity? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. It's lunch hour here. Um, <laughs> it caught me off guard. Um, so the mate viewer that is uh, going to be coming out soonish, uh, hopefully if it passes QA earlier next week, is going to have a bunch of important changes in it. Um, a batch of them I talked about um, in server user group yesterday. They are meant to prevent unintended inventory deletion. Um, and they will affect uh, the warnings and things you see as you delete things 
too trash, so you're going to be forced to see that. Are you sure you actually want to delete this thing at least once per session? Um, when you're purging trash, you're going to see the count of things um, in your trash before you can purge it. Uh, if you're purging from the prompt because your trash has over 5,000 items in it, uh, then we're going to open a floater with your trash in it expanded so you can see what's in it before you purge it. And um, Backspace on Windows will no longer act as delete, but it will on Mac because there is no other delete. Um, but wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Another set of changes has to do with uh, estate and parcel permissions. Uh, we're changing the layout a little bit uh, to hopefully be more um, <laughs> meaningful and uh, actually convey what happens when you change settings better, um, which will then address... Um, Uh, which will address the, uh, um, sorry, the bug that currently um, checking both group and uh, uh, allow uh, public access actually only means group because that's just weird. Um, and uh, also we're adding some slightly, uh, s some improvements to how you do access and ban list management. So you will actually be able to see more than four names on those lists at a time. Um, and we are going to continue working on those um, and exploring how much we can do without it being uh, too taxing or uh, unreasonably complicated. Um, and uh, there is going to be an override as, as well as the Jigglypuff change, um, which has to be a server release as well as a viewer release, obviously, but the viewer UI for estate owners and estate managers to um, not allow parcel owners to have ban lines basically, is also going to be coming out. That's going to be hopefully on RC on the server next week and um, in the mate viewer for the controls. And then there'll be a bunch of bug fixes too. And in addition to that, uh, we've also got lots of stuff happening on the server side that's, that's pretty cool, although un unfortunately most of it is stuff we can't get into the details of what it's all about. But it, um, there are, there's, there's a great deal going on at the moment. Yeah, we're keeping QA busy. Willow, it has not changed the default, but what happens is you don't purge inventory by default. You open that window expanded by default, and then from that window you can purge inventory. We're 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 trying to figure out how to make the UI as as uh, safe as possible while still giving you the ability to empty your trash. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, Oz, I have one for you. Since you're wanting to make it more safer, is there something you can do about the um, problem that occurs when you attach your entire inventory at one time? Because that's been a big one. Uh, I... How, how do you how do you actually do that? Um, there's I mean, actually I, it's not the sort of thing I want to sit here and experiment with and see if I can figure out how to do it because I might succeed. 
Well, actually, what you have to do, Oz, is you have to do you you have to go in to a folder and then it then hit the Add to Current Outfit. Oh, or some or where items? Those two functions right there seem to attach will cause a person to accidentally attach an entire inventory. So if you have no. something well, like I don't, I don't think that will work now. Uh, if this is what I'm seeing in in chat here from Whirly and Grumpy. Um. Ah, so there has been a limit placed to that because in the past it would, if you had 50,000 items, it would attach all 50,000 items at one time, but only allow 38 at one time on. But as soon as you detach those, it would turn around and attach the remaining 50 something thousand that was in your inventory or in oh, the tube. Good, good. Glad to hear that we that we fixed that. I knew I know they've been fixing that up. Uh, while while Grumpity was talking, we released the voice viewer, so that is out. Um, that's in a, a release candidate channel and. Will be and even as we speak is being offered to people as a as an upgrade. I'm I'm running it now, actually. Uh, so, since you can hear me, it's not completely broken. It works on his machine. It works on my machine. That's right. Um, and so, yes, uh, in case you missed it, uh, Worley pointed out that there's also a change in the main viewer that will uh, lower the default volume. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, and uh, this is actually worth pointing out. Um, the Because we're, we're addressing some fairly fundamental issues uh, with this voice update. The, the SL voice uh, plugin for this viewer will not work with older viewers, and the SL voice plugin for older viewers will not work with this one. So while often it has been true that you could that you could just swap those around any way that you felt like and you could get away with it, um, you very deliberately cannot get away with it anymore. So for this one, so so when right in, in, when when this one becomes part of release, you want to integrate the whole thing and uh, and not just part of it. Um, and you will not be able to say go back to voice so and so. Uh, it, it won't work right. So. Um, which means we'd really like people to test this one and see if it worked for them. We really would. Uh, at this point, we're we're not planning on disabling old voice versions in the immediate future. I'm I'm not going to say that we'll never go back to that idea. We might, but uh, there are no. There are no, uh, there's nothing on the calendar, even at an uncertain date at this point. Uh, yeah, the um, one of the one of the changes that it, we made is that the, the retries for connections happen more, much more slowly than they did before. Um, and unless we get an affirmative error that we definitely cannot connect, that is, if, if, if connections just keep timing out, um, it actually takes like nine minutes before you get the dialogue that says we're giving up. Um, so um, the, uh, it, we both made changes to make the connections more likely to succeed in the first place 
and we made the retry behavior um, somewhat better so that it's more likely to eventually be able to succeed. Um, and uh, yeah, they, we still do have cases where um, excessively aggressive firewalls are able to to mess it up, and I'm referring to the ones that come in in what are called antivirus packages. But but one of the things they really do is fool with your HTTP connections. Um, well, um, and uh, some of those, it's still possible for them to mess you up, and it may be that the that the only way to fix it is going to be to switch packages, but. Um, we're going to have to get a little bit broader experience with this version before we can be definitive about about what that situation is. We can't test with every antivirus packages in the world package in the world. Um, I, I I I am uh, really really terrible with remembering any kind of names, um, and so I will be very careful not to misremember the names of the packages that we've seen cause problems. Yeah, so um, if you're if people are having problems with uh, not being able to connect voice, one of the things to check is do they have uh, um, an antivirus package that's uh, fooling with network connections? Not all of them do, but some do. So um, the other thing is, uh, I want to reiterate um, uh, that we'll be we'll begin editing the viewer build instructions on the wiki to match the the one point the 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 five point one viewer that is the sixty four bit viewer uh, as soon as we put that out as a release candidate. Um, so. Um, You'll begin seeing those updates then. Uh, there are quite a few changes to the build process. Um, we think they're good changes, obviously. Um, some of them may seem uh, excessively uh, fiddly, um, and um, I'm sorry about that. And I'm perfectly happy to take suggestions on how to uh, make them smoother, but uh, they are primarily intended to improve our ability to keep everything well organized and uh, and therefore make things go faster. So for example, one of the projects that we will be doing pretty shortly after the 64-bit viewer comes out, not it's not sort of immediately, but it's, it's not going to be far down the road, is upgrading to some newer viewer version of Visual Studio, whether that will be 2015 or 2017, we will decide when we get to it. Yeah, it's a little tricky to keep a system set up so that you can do both flavors of builds, that is before you know, the old style builds and the new style builds. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, what it, it, the so this whole project does does affect Macs. Um, the Mac builds are sixty four bits now, where they were thirty two before. Um, they perform a great deal better. Um, if you have not tried them yet, you should think about it. Um, and they they crash a great deal less. 
Uh, also, they dropped support for all versions of OS X earlier than 10.9. Um, so if you're one of those the few hundred people that we have in our statistics that are still running versions older than 10.9, it's time to upgrade. Uh, see my earlier comment about remembering names. I think that was Maverick, but I, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I don't care that you've got 10.7 at home as long as you don't try to run our viewer on it. That's fine. Um, just, you know, uh, one of the things that's a very clear pattern in our statistics across both Windows and Macs is people on newer versions crash less than people on older versions. Update your systems. But then I probably don't need to tell most of the people here that, except maybe Grumpity. So... Um, Anyway, I think that's that's all the news. So the floor is open for anything. Uh, Oz, have you done anything with regards to the... Um Intermittent group notices? The intermittent group notices. We did make an adjustment in one of the recent simulator builds to slow those, to space those out a little bit further. Um, it, our theory is that those are just overwhelming the, the transmit queues. Um, and what we did was spread them out a little bit more. Um, I don't off the top of my head remember which which change which server version that went into Yeah, we think we think that's basically a timing issue. If you if you send fifty back to back UDP packets, some of them don't get through.
Nothing else? Are we getting to finish early today? Oh, and nothing to where we can see the um, moderators in. No, we haven't. We haven't had any chance to work on the group stuff at all. That's 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 uh, it. It may not seem as though that's a big deal, but it turns out that because of the way that's implemented on the back end, uh, it's actually a pretty hard problem to solve. We have to we have to build a bunch of stuff to to make that easy. Okay, so that's a pretty big problem then, from what you're saying. Uh, it's 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 not. It's definitely not a quick fix. Um, yes, we're we're eagerly awaiting some things that Kitty has done that we think are really cool. So. Uh, if nobody's got anything else, we can, we can break early. Updating the code for legacy avatars. Um, do you mean the mesh? Yeah. Uh, I keep bringing that up with the people who know building things with mesh, but uh, so far nobody's stepped up and said they want to take that on. So we'll see. Not, not on the roadmap at this point. Um, we are going to be doing some other cool things for avatars. But that's a subject for the content creation user group, not this one. And I'll, I'll let them talk about that stuff. By the way, I will no longer be bugging you about, about uh, at least not for the short term, about sending your programmer friends to me. We did actually manage to hire the person we were trying to hire. so. I no longer have any recs. I am fully staffed, which is way cool. Yes, I'm very happy about it. Hiring is a nuisance. I, I actually am after, I, in a half an hour, I'm going to a class on how to make a mesh bear for Linden's. No, not a new body, just a new Linden bear. Maybe. We'll have to see whether I it's I uh I have a I have I have one I'm pretty happy with, so it's gonna have to be I'm gonna have to be able to produce a pretty good one before I'm gonna go full with with my Linden Bear. All right, I think we're done. I don't know. Worley Worley thinks I should I should go with the full beard look instead of the goatee thing, but I have.
haven't made up my mind yet. I'm slow to decide these things. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That's what I need. Shopping helpers. I'm a terrible shopper. All right. No brothers, Gorties. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>